Hey friends, thanks for joining me again today. We need to talk about the different types of welds. All right, friends, so there are essentially five types of welds. We have five types of welds we work with here. So we're just gonna walk through them, look at what they look like, and then we'll talk about what some of these things are called after we're looking at all sorts of them. So the first one, the first type of weld that we have is a, a butt joint. It is where two pieces come together. All right, that is a butt joint weld. The second type is an edge where we have two pieces that come together and somehow and they're welded on the edge. The next one is a corner. It's where two pieces come together and they form a corner. The following one is one that happens quite often here. We do a lot of this. It, it is a lap where two pieces are lapped over. One is laying on top of the, each other and then we weld those together. And the last one, one we do the most often here in our classes is a T-well. That's the most common one that we do here. Now, I don't know which one's mostly used in industry. I would be willing to bet that it's probably the butt joint because the butt joint, there's a lot of different things that can happen with that. So with these different types of wells, we have essentially two different things we call these welds. So on a, a T and a lap, when we would weld right in here, we deposit the weld and we get penetration down there into both pieces. That is a fillet weld. This is called a fillet weld and we are welding these areas. So that is one of the things we call, it's uh, not really a type, it's the weld. So the type of weld is a T-weld and we have a fillet on the T-weld. The other thing we do is a groove weld. So if we have two pieces that don't touch each other and we have a gap, this is a groove weld where we're going to weld those together or we might have a certain bevel. That also would be a groove weld. So going back to our positions and our welds, we would have a lap weld and it could be in the 2F. Remember our numbers? One is flat, two is horizontal, three is vertical, and four, excuse me, four is overhead. The number is now going to be put with a letter F for fillet or G, G for groove. So we could have, if we had this weld overhead, it would be a four G and that's four groove. Okay, if maybe it's vertical. We do a weld that is what I commonly refer to as a keyhole because it ends up looking like a keyhole when we're pushing that weld to the backside. It is a 3G weld because it's in the vertical position and it's a groove weld where we're welding that groove. Okay folks, I hope that helps. Remember to work hard because hard work is its own reward. And thanks for watching.